so I want to share with you guys um, my experience this week here at Judicola Rock. And um, it's been really pretty amazing. So, you know, I went to Judicola Rock and I mean, ultimately, really, on a physical level, there's really not a whole lot there. You know, there's this giant stone with petroglyphs on it. Um, energetically, there's, you know, quite a bit. Um, as far as exploring and sharing with you guys, um, yeah, a lot of the, the things that I wanted to explore were on private property, and I didn't feel like it would be right to, to go on that land uh, without permission, so I didn't. And I ended up going to uh, Panther Town Valley for a couple nights and exploring some waterfalls and trails there, which was really beautiful. And on the way down the mountain, my van has this really bad wobble. Um, I mean, really bad. And I thought, great, here's my first real mechanical challenge here. Um, wasn't sure if I was going to make it down the mountain. Uh, without something happening or not, but I did and uh, I googled, you know, mechanic and Got directions to the mechanic and so I drive You know three or four miles out of my way to go to this mechanic and I just pull in and park and I just close my eyes and take some deep breaths and Just kind of just relax and you know tune in to what might be the problem and um but I got that, you know, this wasn't really a problem for mechanic. It was a tire issue. So um, I got directions to a tire place in Silva, North Carolina, and, and I drove there. And um, I go in and I talk to the woman behind the, the counter and she says, oh yeah, it'll just be a few minutes. <laughs> so I thought, great. Um, long story short, I end up staying at that tire shop for four hours. Uh, three hours of that was waiting for my van to actually be seen, and then another hour was hunting down a tire that they didn't have. Um, so I was chatting it up with all the locals there, and just asking about local events, and uh, talking to uh, someone about uh, Judicola Rock and as I mentioned Judicola Rock a, a, a man walks in and he says oh I know that stone it's 3,000 years old and I know about it because I own that land I own the property and I'm like well god how amazing is that right um, so we talk for about 20 minutes exchange numbers and he invites me out again uh, to his land and so that uh, late afternoon I drive out there and uh, meet him at his house and his garden and he gives me this amazing tour of his property um, uh, Jerry Parker aka Tar Heel um, he hiked the Appalachian Trail and that's his trail name um, really amazing guy, um, very kind and generous and, and just really, really awesome. He gave me an amazing tour, um, showed uh, things that you know people wouldn't normally see and shared a lot about his family history and the history of the land and um, yeah, show me some artifacts that have been found uh, on his property that I'm sure no one else you know, I was going to get a chance to see him as they, they talk with him, really. And uh, I felt really blessed. You know, that evening, uh, him and his fiance, uh, Jenny, and invite me in for dinner. So we had a late dinner, and that was really great. And he invited me to camp down at the uh, a shelter that he had made uh, down by the, the water, which was really beautiful. Um, so... You know, I kind of learned a lot from that and, you know, 
sometimes we have a lot of fear and and hardship and um, you know it, it cost me what $140 for a new tire and four hours of my life <laughs> and uh, but ultimately I was exactly where I needed to be to meet him in order to have this amazing tour of Judicola Rock and the surrounding area, you know, his, his property. And so it was a huge blessing, you know, and it just reminds me over and over again that, you know, I'm being exactly, I'm being led exactly where I need to go and I'm taken care of. And, you know, it may seem like it's challenging and scary and, you know, I'm sure, uh, you know, a lot more people have had to spend more than $140 and and more time taken from their lives and more emotional pain and physical pain, you know. And ultimately it's it's been to lead them to exactly where they need to be. I um the next morning I I went down to the water to a, a sacred site where the Cherokee would go um, and bathe in the water. And I got in the water and I ducked my head completely under and as I came up this giant blue heron flies right over me um, and it was just it was beautiful amazing and you know once again one of those experiences that says hey yeah you're doing this right this is exactly where you need to be so huge blessings this week and I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful for uh, spirit uh, and for direction. I'm really grateful for uh, all the people that I've met uh, this week at Judicola Rock and um, in the surrounding areas. So it's my story that I wanted to share with you. And yeah, I'm grateful for you guys for for watching. So. Uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.